Hi, this is Oliver, K6OLI, and I'm going to show you how to use the SMS form to send messages via WinLink to an SMS. First, we'll bring up our WinLink Express, then we'll click on New Message, and this assumes that you already downloaded and installed the SMS form. New Message. We click Select Template. It will be installed in your global templates. In this case, I created a subfolder, custom forms. You don't have to do that. But in my case, I extracted the files into the custom forms. And we go to send SMS text message, double click that. And it brings up our browser. And all you have to do here is to enter the phone number. I'll put in a pretend phone number, 626-555-9874. No spaces, dashes, no one at the end, just the number um, the way you would do. And then click select carrier. And you see all of these carriers are pre-populated. So if you, let's say, want to send something to Verizon, um, you've got an option of SMS and MMS. MMS um, is preferred. Generally, those work better um, for whatever reason. So select that, then click add and it adds that information. If you want to add another phone number on the same message, you can do the same thing. Again, we'll do a, a pretend phone number, 213-555-76. Just we call those Hollywood phone numbers because they have the 555 in there, all right? Um, and let's say you want to send it to AT&T. In this case, you want to send it SMS, that's fine. Click add, and you can go on like this. Keep your messages short, please, you know, um, short test. And then you can type a quick message here saying, I'm doing fine. If you want to contact your out of state contacts, you can save the form data like you can do with a lot of forms in WinLink. It's really practical and then load it afterwards up here. But once you're done, you're happy with your message, you can click on submit. It'll ask you this, click OK, close this website. And you can see it populated this form, put in all in our phone, num um, phone numbers with the extensions that are required. You can still add information here. You could send it to a friend of yours, let's say to JCL in this case, right? Or another email address. You could certainly do that. That's absolutely okay, right? In this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure it's sent as the WinLink message. Obviously, we need the internet at some point in this. And then we post to Outbox. And then open our session and send and receive the message. And that's all there is to that. If you want to download the form, you can go to winlink.org forward slash content forward slash general underscore forms. And it's right here in send SMS 1.2.2. Please keep in mind that global folder templates are not automatically out updated. Please do not install this in your standard folder because if you do, it will be overwritten every time those automatic updates come through. Um, global folder templates have to be updated manually and that is by design. That allows you to go in and keep it up to date and it also keeps the standard forms library small. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening. This is Oliver, K6OLI73 to all.